I will never be able to save enough money for the down payment to buy a home. These are words that I hear from buyers that I talk to every week. Studies show that many people still believe that you must have at least a 20% down payment to buy a home. There are several different home loan programs that offer 100% financing and others that only require a 2.25%, 3%, 3.5%, or 5% down payment. The average down payment for first-time buyers is only about 6%. One of the problems is that many lenders only offer a few different loan programs and their loan officers may not even be aware of the many other loans that may be available from other banks or mortgage companies. And of course, since they are making their living with that lender, they probably are not likely to advise you of other home loan programs, even if they are aware of them. The challenge of saving for a down payment is the number one reason most buyers wait longer than they'd like to buy a home. In fact, many buyers have the income and the qualifications to make the monthly mortgage payment but they're sidelined because they believe they don't have enough down payment money. It has been estimated that it takes about 14 years or more for a future home buyer to save for a 20% down payment. That's more than 14 years for your rent, home prices, and interest rates to rise too. And 14 years later, you'll have zero equity in a home, wiping out yours and your next generation's wealth building potential. Some lenders do try to offer special financing to the buyers they work with, but studies show that only about 22% of the home buyers are aware of down payment assistance programs or grants, and so they just keep on renting with the belief that there's no way for them to become homeowners, and so their situation just never changes. Sometimes they hear about a friend or an acquaintance who was able to buy a home with special financing, or maybe they are made aware of these kind of programs from family or from people they work with. And then they still have to make contact with someone who knows where to go to get the help they need. And they may still never take that first step because they may not feel their credit will be good enough or that there are other problems qualifying for home buyer programs. Many others believe that these kind of home loan programs are available only in questionable neighborhoods or for low cost homes. Hi, my name is Kyle No, and I'm with the First United Team brokered by EXP Realty and I've been working right here in the OKC metro area for the past 32 years, helping more than 1,500 families purchase their own homes since 1989. My passion is to help anyone who has a sincere interest in becoming a homeowner do exactly that, and nothing gives me greater pleasure than handling the keys over to the buyers to their new home. In my experience, I have found that the biggest obstacle is getting a potential home buyer to take that first step usually making a phone call to someone they don't know and asking them for the help they need to get started with the home buying process. Usually after that first phone call, it is possible to give them enough information and guidance so that they can see themselves being able to purchase a home, even though it might take a little bit of extra effort and maybe even a little bit of extra time to actually get those keys. But most people are anxious to move out of the rent house or apartment where they are currently living and start building a future for their families and themselves, starting with owning their very own home. After the buyer has seen the possibilities, they usually become excited and you can see it as they start believing that they can indeed buy a home. All they need now is to receive some solid advice regarding any credit work that they may need to do and follow the game plan that we help them with. It is truly inspirational to me to see how their spirit picks up as they gain momentum towards home ownership. I have found the future home buyers will respect the work you are doing for them and they are more than appreciative of your efforts. In short, it's why I'm still spending more than 50% of my time working with first time buyers and renters. The end result is that most of the first time buyers and renters that I work with end up being approved for either a 100% loan or a loan with full down payment assistance. That means the only out-of-pocket costs that they have are the typical buyer closing costs, which will usually range from around $5,500 up to about $8,000. These programs do allow a cooperative seller to pay the buyer's closing costs, so many buyers actually get home ownership and the keys for around $4,000 or $5,000 and sometimes less than $500 total out-of-pocket costs. 
So the absolute true story is that you don't need thirty to 40000 for the down payment to purchase a home or a 20% down payment. And you don't need fifteen to 20000 for the down payment or a 10% down payment. The truth is that you may not need any money at all for the down payment, and you may be able to get into a home for around five hundred to five thousand dollars for your buyer closing costs, and that's it. If you or someone you know is ready to become a homeowner, get the keys to your own home, and quit paying rent, then you only need to do two things: select a realtor who has committed themselves to helping first-time buyers and renters, and learning about how to work with the special financing programs that are available in the area, and then commit yourself. To working on completing the game plan you and your realtor develop. If you have any questions, please feel free to call or text me at any time. My personal cell phone number is 405-210-5319. If you decide to become a homeowner and I can help you in any way, I would be glad to help. Thanks again. I am Kyle No with the First United Team brokered by EXP Realty working right here in the OKC metro area for the past 32 years. And don't forget, I'm always available for that famous 15-minute phone conversation at 405-210-5319 to help you get started. Bye-bye.